Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And as always, peace, love, and many blessings unto the elect. Start with the 144,000 and the one third. Uh, unto you, I say Shalom. It's the brother Atazawam coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai uh, with another lesson. And uh, you know, it's going to be quick and to the point. Uh, this is a, from a, um, a article from blacklistednews.com, um, you know, pretty much giving an up to date um, status on America and its crime. OK, now, since the year 2020 came about, uh, which we know that that was a very pivotal year, a very transitional year uh, for the earth. And uh, what happened uh, was the crime rate spiraled out of control uh, starting in 2020. OK, all the major cities throughout Babylon, the great had seen a considerable spike in their uh, crime rate. OK, all the way up until now, you know, crime is pretty much spiraled out of control in these major cities. And it's, um, you know, the attention uh, is being put on trying to fix it. OK, so this is uh, from blacklistednews.com. Uh, it says chaos reigns in the streets of America as epic crime wave terrorizes the nation. All right. Now, I'm not going to read the article, but Lord willing, I'll remember if I remember, I'll put it in the description box. But, um, you know, when you go through the article, it just gives, um, you know, data uh, based upon certain um, crimes that where certain cities see a spike, whether it's car theft, armed robbery, uh, rape, murder, assault, so on and so forth. And um, but one part part that I wanted to highlight within the article was the violence uh, that's being happened or that's happening from these migrants. Okay. Especially in New York city. Okay. These migrants are completely out of control and they're pretty much filling up the streets on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. And one thing that they're doing is they're directly attacking, uh, directly attacking, attacking Salakia law enforcement. Okay. They're going after law enforcement. All right. So this, this could very well be, um, the storm developing that Esau needs to bring about these draconian laws, which we know that the devil that's in power um, is, is the man behind the mask. OK, Esau Edom, we know that he's the one that's stirring the pot and creating these different scenarios uh, to bring about his new world order. And this will be the perfect uh, storm to, to, you know, implement draconian laws and the MOTB, okay? So, you know, just keep an eye on, you know, what's going on with these migrants because, you know, this could very well be something that they could use to push national security, uh, to push, you know, more stricter laws and regulations uh, within these inner cities and borders to try to crack down on crime, deploy certain troops to certain areas, uh, so on and so forth, okay? So it's very interesting uh, to say the least, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures because the Bible um, pretty much gives a, a, a better assessment of prophecy than I can. But this is um, this is the book of Genesis, Genesis, chapter six and verse 11. All right. It says um, the earth also was corrupt before the most high. Now, this is going back until the time of um, of Noah. OK, when the Lord commissioned uh, Noah to build the ark, okay, because the Lord was getting ready to bring some very serious judgment, okay, so it's detailing the, the current situation of the earth, it says the earth also was corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence, okay, so what do we see happening now, we see in a, a, a massive violent crime spike in America, which is very similar to the time of, um, of uh, Noah. Okay. So that's how you know that that means the Lord is about to bring some serious judgment again because these same things are happening in the times that we're living in. Okay. But this, this is, this is going to be known as the second death. Okay. Now what I'm reading right here, we're reading about the first death, which was by way of the flood. Now what's getting ready to happen is going to be called the second death which the scriptures talk about that, and that's going to be by way of the ICBM nuclear missiles that's going to be shot 
by multiple countries, but mainly Russia. Okay, verse 12, it says, And the Most High looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. The word corrupt goes into perishable, because the ways of the people um, caused people to perish. Okay, the life expectancy got gotten short. You know, sin was all over the earth. Homosexuality, it was all sorts of manner of evil and wickedness that was going on. Murder, robbery, okay, adultery. It says, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. So that's what you see happening right now. But you have a very small remnant, okay, who's returning unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh with all their heart and spirit and changing their ways so that they can be joined unto the Lord um, when he when he comes back. But everybody else, they're corrupting the ways of the Most High. You listen to guys like WAC 100, okay, the individuals like the Sakari saying certain uh, things that they ought not to say. Uh, Christianity, and you, then you got this other guy that used to be a part of the Boston camp, okay? These guys are, are what you would call guys who corrupt the way of the Most High. <laughs> and not to mention the two-thirds that's out here, okay? People who are completely uh, disenchanted and separated from our Lord and Savior, okay? So that's this is going to cause Yahweh Bashim Shah to bring about a very, very heavy judgment, okay? So this is very similar uh, what's happening in the earth is very similar to what was happening during the time of Noah. And, and Noah is a very famous uh, individual out of the Bible. OK, this is out of the book of Second Ezra, chapter uh, 15, verse 14. And we bring this out pretty much every week on a weekly, pretty much almost every day. Now, at this point, the way things is going. OK, but it says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. So what you see happening right now is you see all these different nations that's dwelling here in America and on a global scale. But I will just deal domestically for, for now. But you see all these different nations, especially Esau. OK, pretty much getting a getting a shit together. OK, they they, they um, you know, they maneuvering, they buying weapons, they storing up ammo. OK. They going down to the border. They they doing the um, you know, pretty much putting all these other Edomites on alert. It's going to go down because there's going to be race wars. We've been prophesying about race wars for years, and yes, there's going to be race wars. There's going to be heavy tension um between these different races. Now you have these migrants that's coming in, you know, crossing the border, and they're giving um, uh, you know, certain stipends, you know, hotel, um, you know, shelter and things of that nature. So you, you're going to start to see, um, you know, things change where it's going to get uh, physical assaults are going to start taking place uh, dealing with uh, these particular nations. OK, so it says. Um, <clears throat> For the sword in their destruction, do of nigh, one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their hand. Okay? Now, we, you know, we, we've been hearing rumors about certain states succeeding from the Union. Okay? Certain, um, you know, other states backing up Texas. Okay? So, it's, 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 um, it's definitely getting very um, intense right now. And I speculate through the spirit. You know, just just putting it out there. I could be wrong, but through the spirit, I perceive that things when things start to heat up, that things are really, really going to take a turn for the worse for the inhabitants of the earth because the Lord is mad. OK, the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is being kindled among you, uh, among the earth, man. So the Lord is getting ready to bring a, a, a great judgment down upon the people. OK. So I'm going to read that again in verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men, which means um, to be uh, divided. And the scriptures say what? If Satan's kingdom be divided, it cannot stand. So really, they should call this place the divided states of America. OK, and that was the irony that the Lord made them call themselves the United States because you a hey, united like they say, united, we stand divided, we fall. And this place is completely divided to the point to where it's ready to fall. It's, it's, it's morally decayed. Everything is upside down. There's no, 
um, order and structure. Everything is out of whack. Okay, so this place is pretty much infectious and uh and, and rotten. Okay. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And this is a future prophecy that's going to come to pass. And we've seen a glimpse of this back in 2020. Okay? We've seen a glimpse of that. Where, you know, you, you, you couldn't go to certain areas. There was a curfew. Okay? And if you was out after a certain amount of time, you could be faced with penalties. You could be fined and all kind of stuff, man, that was going on. Okay, so this this is gonna this is gonna ramp up. This is gonna increase in the earth, man. Okay, but see, a lot of people don't don't listen to the prophets. Okay, they don't listen. They don't take heed to the warnings. But but guess what? The vision is yet for an appointed time. And when these this vision comes to pass, there is no there is no person on the face of the earth who can stop these prophecies from coming to pass. Okay. So prepare, you know, to be to to see more. And more destruction to see more and more um, uh, uh, conflicts and commotions. Okay, you had a situation yesterday at the Kansas City uh, Chiefs. Okay, um, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs game or parade. Okay, where you had a shooting. I believe twenty some odd people got shot. Two, maybe one or two, maybe died. OK, they're, they're, this is more and more, um, you know, this is what they need. They need these headlines. They need these things to go on so they could justify when they shut this goddamn place down. OK, but then again, that's prophecy. That's the prophecy of the scriptures. OK, so this is the prophecy right here. Uh, Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, which iniquity means to add sin upon sin. OK, and that's what happened, man. You know, these people are full of iniquity. They do it. They're, they're engulfed in a multitude of sins, not just one. They're consistently sinning on top of sin, on top of sin, on top of sin and multiple different sins at that. OK, so iniquity, it, it, it causes hatred and, divi and division. OK, and that's what you see it says, well, and, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. There's no real love out here. The real love is, is in a brotherhood. Of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, these people don't love each other. They don't really love their parents. They don't really love their mother. Okay? They don't really love their kids. You're seeing all kind of articles coming out. Women putting their kids in the oven and leaving them in the car. You know? Ain't no real love out here. We're going to see more. We're going to see the Lord is going to show more situations like this where crime sprees and crime spikes and mass shootings and, and, and you know, attacks on U.S. soil is going to be crazy all the way up until the point to where the American government is going to have to do something. OK, so, you know, I just want to bring that quick lesson out. You know, I'm about to get ready to head down the camp. But uh, yeah, man, just keep your eyes on the prophecies. Keep stay watching. Stay vigilant, like the scriptures say, okay? You know, we're supposed to be watching these prophecies, you know, putting these lessons up, you know, being being more and more in the spirit, preparing for that day. So, Lord willing, that was an edifying lesson. I want to give all praises to you. How about Shema, Shah, about Shema, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.